with the ushering in of the new millennium, today's technology-dependent society is moving at an unprecedented pace. Global changes in ecology are making us more aware of energy conservation, nature preservation, and natural solutions to everyday needs. Golden fiber, jute, the most important and versatile natural fiber, has emerged as the fiber of choice with endless possibilities. It is completely biodegradable, eco friendly, annually renewable, and comparatively inexpensive. This natural fiber has proven itself to be a dependable alternative to non renewable timber wood, synthetics, and plastic. Jute plants are a huge source of renewable biomass. Carbon dioxide assimilation rate of jute is several times higher than that of trees. It is estimated that one hectare of jute plants can consume about 15 tons of carbon dioxide from atmosphere and release about 11 tons of oxygen in 100 days of the jute growing season. A recent study has revealed that the greenhouse gas emission by jute is negative and has drawn the attention of the consumers to make more use of biodegradable jute products. Due to the natural advantages and development of new and diversified jute products, the market has once again become receptive to jute. From traditional products like sacking, Hessian having wide range of use and exported widely, both as cloth and bag, the versatile jute fiber is now used to produce rigid packaging, reinforced plastic, jute composite and exciting new products. Bags of all time ranging from shopping to fashion are produced in different sizes, shapes and colors. Jute fibers are also being used to make pulp and paper with increasing concern over forest destruction for the wood pulp used to make most paper. Jute yarn and twines are woven into curtains, chair coverings, carpets, area rugs and backing for linoleum. Jute blended fabrics are used for making furnishing, cushion covers, decorative items, toys, wall hangings, lampshades, floor coverings, packaging materials, shoes, fashion jewellery, particle boards and other items are also made by jute. Jute geotextiles have high moisture absorption capacity, flexibility and drainage properties and are used to prevent soil erosion and landslides of river embankments, roadsides and hill slopes. Global concern about environmental degradation is creating a shift from artificial synthetics to natural fibers. The International Jute Study Group IJSG is an intergovernmental body set up under the aegis of UNCTAD to function as the international commodity body for jute, kenaf and other allied fibers. The group is functioning for the overall development of the world jute economy, generic promotion, issues of poverty alleviation, employment and development of human resources, particularly women in the jute sector. It has also established a private sector consultative board, PSCB, that functions on the basis of public-private partnership to resolve the common problems that exist in the sector. Apart from the multi-sectoral efforts of IJSG, scientists, researchers, producers and others are offering jute and allied fiber products in the most useful form and at market competitive price. The group acts as a catalyst for expanding international trade of jute and jute products, including the introduction of new jute products having diversified applications. 
to highlight and enhance the profile of natural fibers, the United Nations has declared 2009 as the International Year of Natural Fibers, which will be observed globally to boost up the uses of jute and natural fiber products. It can be safely asserted that the future of mankind has been tied with the future of jute. Jute plant with its fresh young look and green leaves promises us a world of endless possibilities for today and tomorrow.